Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're going to go over some Monster High news. We have some more information regarding the Off-White collaboration. We have more pictures of the Polly Pocket Compact. We have in real life pictures of the new G3 Core Refresh dolls and more. So stay tuned and let's get into okay, it. Okay, so first up, let's go over the new in real life pictures of the G3 Core Refresh dolls for Jackie Laura and Claudine. So we knew they were coming and we saw a pre-order. Orders. the listings were coming in and out of stock and apparently a couple of people are already getting them early or at least Draculaura or you know some of these uh it kind of varies so these pictures are by Draculector on Instagram so credit goes to them um and then later on we'll also see pictures by maddie dolls and also zombie x corn so just a heads up so these pictures are of the boxes sorry if it's vertical it was from their story um but that's just the whole look of their boxes the back and then of course we have the individual pictures of their boxes in front and of the back and people i i heard were disappointed that the boxes were different or something that there wasn't like any artwork for like cleo or frankie um for the rest of the you know lineup that are going to get their refreshed core dolls um but i mean this kind of makes sense because these two are just like the first part of this new core refresh line so of course they wouldn't um you know put all of the artwork on the back of the box if these two are in one set and then the others are going to come later on next year so it makes sense um it will be too good to have already uh, <laughs> an image of the other characters and what their updated looks would you know look like but the artwork is still done by darko dark um and the box design really is the same it is the exact same like the other boxes just the artwork changes and um that's really it like the actual design is the same the exact same and the placement of the doll and everything is the exact same um so that's really no change now here is the individual pictures for claudine and wow i mean she does look really good in person i like the lipstick i thought it was like dark black or blue uh, but it's actually just a really dark purple i think that looks really good on her um the makeup looks good she's looking to the side i believe the other or the original core Claudine doll was looking in the opposite side I don't remember but they yeah they do look in different directions um the jacket actually looks really fun the fur um the pants you know the top the shoes like I definitely prefer this outfit overall over the original G3 uh, Claudine dolls outfit just because this outfit just is it looks it looks better i just i don't like the onesie on the original i don't like the fur vest i don't like the shoes um and like the like the socks that are not like the leg warmer pieces um and the hair obviously is poly on that one and here the the hair on both of them is saran so good news and that's why it looks different the hair it looks very poofy also uh but i guess it's just because it's just box hair um but it's saran so uh, you know it's not Polly, thank god uh so yeah i think she's so cute uh the glasses I, sh I just think she's like a more mature version kind of like the darker tones um the glasses even are a little bit more like mature looking <laughs> like they're not as huge um and the the hairstyle i just think everything looks better here it just kind of like clicks then we have draculaura and wow she is so cute i think she just really encompasses like everything g3 draculaura is supposed to be like the witch hat the tights the pink combat boots um the skirt the spider web details like i think this is just peak draculaura you know this is like quintessential draculaura g3 you know and i think she's gonna be like the most popular probably draculaura doll so far um just because again she is the quintessential <laughs> draculaura doll she just really is that and she has all of the things you would want in a doll like she has the poofy sleeves i just think and then black lipstick it's just it's all so perfect and then the pigtails like are you kidding me like she just has all of the features that you know separately on draculaura dolls we've seen but here she has them all and it's just like so good <laughs> so um the top black piece is actually connected to the pink piece people were wondering but they are connected so that's one piece of top um which i guess makes sense but you know it would have been nice if there were separate tops but i guess it would have been too bulky um but yeah i think she looks so cute overall um she just the pigtails and like the pieces are really nice and the accessories like i forgot to mention they have so many accessories <laughs> the pets are so cute there are new shapes um new poses right and new face 
uh, face ups, like the eyes, the expressions are new. Um, that's also new. That、uh, that's also nice that they're always like adding new expressions to the pets, and they're not always reusing the same molds, the same expressions. Like they're definitely always keeping it fresh. Yeah, I think they look better in real life. Like I mean, the stock photos made them look really good, but they also look. Good in real life, so that's a relief.、Um, and the packaging looks good. Everything looks good so far. There, I haven't seen any wonkiness. Like I, I think I saw one Dracula that had like cut hair or something. But like aside for that, I think overall they are pretty good so far. So if you pre-ordered yours,、um, you know. Look forward to her coming soon if you're in the U.S. and I live in Europe and I actually saw the listing too on Amazon Germany. But the prices are weird and apparently she's going to release in November, so I guess they're going to release this year after all. That's really fun.、Uh, so if you're looking forward to this Dracula or Claudine doll,、um, you don't have to wait any longer.、Um, and then of course we're getting Laguna, Frankie, Frankie and Cleo as well. They're going to come next year,、uh, and I'm just so excited for them. Like especially Laguna. I just wonder, like, how they're gonna change up her design, Frankie. Like, I don't think they're gonna change their design too much. And then Cleo,、uh, maybe she'll have some pants. I don't know, but it's it's so exciting just to see the potential now that we've seen Dracula and Claudine and just the different also quality in these pieces that they've done. Like, it definitely feels a little bit more. Um, like they've put an effort, you know what I mean? Like the sleeves, like the top, the fur.、Um, it doesn't feel quite as like cheap <laughs> as as per usual, you know what I mean? So it it feels like maybe this is like good, like it's getting better. So I'm excited. Oh, and then in the actual book that Dracula comes with, if you open it up, we can see this image here that kind of showcases、uh, Dracula's、uh, silhouette, like shrinking down to like a. Baby, and maybe this is like a hint that Monster High babies are coming. <laughs> I don't know,、um, but it's definitely giving me Brad's babies. Like,、um, okay, I hope that's just like a a gag or like a vision. I hope it means nothing because, like, can you imagine Monster High babies? Like, get out of here! Like, come on! Like, I mean, I mean, I guess we we should see. Like, don't knock it until you try it. But like, really, I don't. Monster Mattel never has never done that. Like they don't do baby versions of Ever After High or Monster High or you know like they've never done that. So I don't know how it would look. But I guess would you be interested in seeing like Monster High babies? <laughs> and then moving on, we have more pictures of the Polly Pocket Monster High compact, and it actually looks so much better in the interior. Like I was worried that they might just reuse some already existing、um, you know pieces to. To make up the insides of the compact, but actually it seems to be all new because there's the coffin bean, the creepeteria or whatever,、um, and then we have like a dormitory situation, and then we also have like the outside, a casketball place. Like it just there's just so many locations here、uh, in such a small compact. We have three mini figures of. Frankie, Claudine, and Draculaura, and they also have unique like hair molds and stuff, and、um, they just look so cute. They're so cute, and I love how the bedrooms swing swing open.、Um, and there's even like a little thing around the, the 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 top of the compact where you can like it's like a wristband. You can attach it to your wrist so you don't lose it or to your bag or something. That's so cute. I just this compact is like so cute, and it just it just makes me feel joy and like. I've always admired Polly Pocket, but just there's so many, and the later ones, like the new ones that are coming out right now, they're not as like really. They're not. They're not really as good as the old ones. So I never really got into it. But this compact, it's just it's so so cute. It's just so cute. There's so many little details, so many new prints, so many new the the mini dolls. Like come on, these are so. I need to get this. Like it's just adorable, and it's probably not too big, and it probably costs like twenty five. Like it's just perfect. <laughs> and I hope they make more. I hope they make many many more because they need to see mini doll versions of Cleo Laguna, Cle、uh, Cleo Cleo Laguna, Deuce, and all the other characters.、Um, and I need to see more locations, more locations, please. Like imagine we get you. Unique skeletons、uh, for、uh, each character, and in those compacts, we can see the bedroom of each of each character. Like just that, it just is so much, so many possibilities. There's so much potential here.、Um, I hope they don't give up. I hope I need. We need more. So we have some more Monster High Off White collaboration doll news. So the listing for Electra Melody is up right now on Mattel Creations, which shows us also some more pictures of Electra in just better. Higher quality,、um, and also of the group. So yeah, did, I mean, I 
I do think she looks cool, but like, it's just, I don't know. Like she just looks too much like cast affairs and just the green skin tone on all the characters. It does, it's a little bit weird. <laughs> like I know Monster High is all about freaky flaws, but I just, it's so specific. Just, I don't know why. And like, it doesn't really do anything to me at least. Like them all having green skin tones um, because especially they're all supposed to be different, you know, species as we can see here. Uh, their names have already been leaked. So Electra Melody, she is a sea monster. Then we have Harmony Ghoul. She's a Franken monster. We have Symphony Midnight. She's a Spectre Spirit. And then we have Raven Rhapsody. She's a gargoyle. So they're all different monsters, but they're all green. And then they're all, their names are all like music related so um i don't know it's, it's a definitely a creative choice for sure and we also now know that the four dolls will be exclusively available at off-white flagship locations in miami new york city las vegas paris and milan from october 11th so all four of them not just one all four of them you could technically get um already like starting this week at the end if you live in those locations and if you're familiar with where the store would be then you could yeah technically you could maybe find all of them but i do think perhaps they will sell out in person i don't know honestly i'm not sure because i don't think people who shop at off-white you know i don't think they're there to get dolls i think they're there to get clothing um, and i think most people who shop at Off-White will not be familiar with Monster High. And if they are, it's a very small percentage. So I, I, I kind of think like they might not sell out. Hopefully they don't. Uh, but hopefully there's also like a regulation of like only like one per person because these are expensive and I would hope that they will have that in place. But speaking of, the actual Off-White account finally posted about this collaboration and it's just so insane to see Monster High you know, as we know it, pop up on a high fashion brand like Off-White. Like, it's just, it's so crazy and it just makes you realize like how big of an, of an achievement this really is. So regardless really of like if the dolls are good, if the price is too much, like if it's affordable, if it's, you know, like whatever, you know, regardless, this is for sure an achievement and a big step for Monster High. I mean, not any just doll brand can achieve a collaboration like this so it's definitely something to you know praise um even if the dolls aren't like amazing or if the packaging is too much if it's too expensive which are all valid concerns um the actual like actually being here talking about how there's a Co collaboration between <laughs> off-white and monster high like that is so absurd but it's a reality and it just goes to show you that Monster High really has come a far long way and I'm proud of it. Like I really like good, good for you, Mattel. Good for you, Monster High. Because I mean, even though again, Mattel isn't perfect. <laughs> oh girl, we, we know they're not perfect. But I mean, this is definitely like an achievement. So good for them. I'm happy for Monster High. I hope they have more um, collaborations in the, in the future with fashion brands and hopefully Hopefully those will be perhaps more affordable, more accessible, and um, per perhaps they will also click more with with the large audience. So, cause yeah, so far, I mean, these dolls haven't really been like, um, have had the best reception. I think it's just been overall like a really mixed bag, which is understandable. Again, like I, I mentioned the skin tones all being green, They're they all have music related names. Um, their designs aren't perfectly translated to doll uh, form and the packaging is huge and it's just too expensive and it's not accessible. So obviously it's not perfect, but like the mere fact alone that we're here talking about an off-white collab with Monster High, I mean, that's commendable. So. We gotta praise Monst Monster High at least for that, <laughs> for getting this far. And then lastly, the rumored Nightmare Before Christmas collector set that, you know, has been up in the air for quite some time now. People are not really sure if it's real or fake. Um, apparently, it might happen. I don't know. Again, take it, with, take it with a grain of salt. But this is the person that also talked about the off-white dolls and those turned out to be true. So I kind of think this might be true as well. Just saying. I don't know, but it kind of feels like it might be true. I mean, if this collaboration is real, then who's to say this collector set is not also 
potentially real. And that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and become a member today so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope to see you next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.